because lightning starts, but he always finishes second. Let's find out what happens this time. Well, of course, uh, two weeks ago, uh, Kopecky won the race. Look at that, Tom Lynch and uh, Mike Minnig, and away they go. Roloff gets a good start. Looks like he's going to lead him through. Roloff very rarely leads him through into turn number one. Let's see what happens this time. Roloff dropping back. He's back in about fourth or fifth spot. running in fourth. It's still Kenny Kopecky holding off a very hard challenge from Barry Burke right now in the Yamaha with Chris Mallory in third.
leading the seven fifty class. And right now five hundred dollars uh, going his way if he can hold on to the lead. Still Kapaki, but boy, Burke got a good drive off of the uh, turn number seven area over the crest of that hill. And down the back straightaway they go. And watch Burke now just uh, start closing in. There he goes. He really closes in on Kapeki this time. It's not quite enough to get around, but he does pull in right on the rear tires ahead around turn number eight. Around nine they go. Now let's see if Burke's right on his rear tire. Let's see if he uses this uh, slipstream to go on past this time. Out of nine they come. Burke. Losing a little bit on the straightaway. Looks like uh, Kopecky's got the horsepower. As they come down the first straightaway, Barry Burke loses a little bit as they go into turn number one. Kopecky on the Suzuki. Barry Burke on the Yamaha. So we've got a great Suzuki-Yamaha battle out here right now. Let's check and see uh, the conditions in that 750 class. There goes Mike Minnig. So Mike Minnig looks like he may be leading the uh, S750 class along with Tom Lynch. Lynch and Minnig in a great uh, duel for that lead. As I believe Roloff's going to bring it in. He's going to have another mechanical problem. We had Roloff up there amongst the leaders, but he's going to pull it in behind the pat paddock wall here. And Roloff, one of your favorites in that 750 class, out of the race with a mechanical problem. So it's going to leave it to Minnig and to Lynch to battle it out in that 750 class as they go up the hill around turn number two. Ninja, lightweight, sponsored event. Ben Williams getting ready to go on this one. In fact, it looked like he had a pretty bad spill there with his uh, leathers all gummed up, but he's going to go back out there again. He had a string of five wins in a row, and he still picked up some money today. He's got $500 already today as well. And he's going to go try and go all back out there and uh, maybe pick up another 500 Here come your leaders down the straightaway. Well, the white flag is out now, and if Burke's going to try and pull something out on that Yamaha, he's going to have to do it in the turns because Kopecky's just got too much horsepower on the straightaway. Last lap for your leaders, Kopecky holding on to the lead. But boy, does Burke really uh, trail him down as they head around the turns. And he's all over him again. And look at this, we still got a terrific scrap going for uh, that 750 lead between Minig and Lynch. Kopecky's got his hands full with Barry Burke up there coming out of turn number four and going into five. Barry Burke out of Ashland, Massachusetts, now living over here in the L.A. area. He's on a Jim Leonard tuned machine, sponsored by Racer Supply. 26-year-old rider, been only racing a year, and he's going up against the veteran Kevin Kopecky, who's been out here at least seven or eight years now. So, uh... Youth versus old age, and he's going to try and make a move on it. It's not going to be enough. Kopecky just has too much power in that Suzuki, and Kopecky's going to come down here for another win. By God, I think this is two wins in a month in two weeks. This is incredible. Here comes, uh, here comes uh, Kopecky. He's going to take the win. Barry Burke's going to get second. So the Suzuki rider wins it. Yamaha gets second spot. And now we're going to check that uh, battle for uh, 750 between Tom Lynch and Mike Minnick. Let's see who takes that as they come out of turn number nine. Here they come, side by side. Look at this, Minnick and Lynch. Handlebar to handlebar, it's going to be Minnick taking the win. Minnick takes the win. Lynch finishing second. Oh, great scrap. So that's 750 class. 